Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am unboxing the Sephora Play Box for the month of March. This month's theme is the Gleam Team and the bag is this little drawstring bag that says glow your own way. And it is kind of cute. I don't totally hate it, but again, I don't know what I would do with a little drawstring bag like this. As always, the box includes this little card to give you more points on an in-store purchase during the month of March. And this thing is a little fold-out guide to all of the makeup products that you receive in your play box. First up is this Atelier Cologne in the scent Divine Clementine, and I really do not like this. At first I was like, oh no, it's just kind of florally, it's a little too florally for me. But now I'm kind of like sneezing and itching and my nose is running, so I'm gonna have to take this off because it is way, way too florally. Maybe that is for some people, but not for me. I cannot wear perfumes that are this florally. Next up is the Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. Now this is a little bit smaller than the travel size that they sell at Sephora. The travel size at Sephora is 0.68 fluid ounces and then this is 0.34 fluid ounces so it is exactly half of the travel size. And if you've ever wondered if the Sephora Playbox is a good value, the travel size of this product retails for $19. And then this, which is exactly half of the travel size, would then be $9.50, which is almost the entire price of the Sephora Playbox. So definitely, definitely worth your money. Hopping into the product review, I have mixed feelings about this one. I love Becca products, but I feel like the opal shade is just a little too dark for me. The pressed powder is too dark for me, and I feel like this is too dark for me. I have yet to use it as like a foundation, which I've heard works for some people, because this is really just like my skin tone. I've tried to use it as a contourish shade, like liquid contour over my foundation, and it just kind of works. It's not really great, so. So I will definitely be using this as a foundation at some point. I really do like it though. I like the consistency. I love the subtle sheen that it gives. I just wish I'd gotten a lighter shade because I'm unreasonably pale, guys. <laughs> Next up is this Ghost Oil by Verb and I absolutely love this. It has kind of a not quite as thick as gel consistency and when you put it in your hair it just makes it so shiny and it smooths away all of the flyaways. So I've been loving this especially as we're transitioning into spring. My hair is still a little bit dry at the ends and this has been making it look incredible. This is the Josie Marin Surreal Skin Argon Finishing Balm and I really like this as a primer for my makeup, but I feel like when you put it on top of your makeup, because in the little Sephora pamphlet and on the Sephora website it does say that you can apply this on top of your makeup, I feel like when I do that it just kind of sucks up the makeup, like I feel like it just takes away all the makeup that I just put down, so I really don't like using this on top of my makeup, but as a primer I feel like it really does like smooth out my skin, it gets rid of my pores, it makes my skin look incredible, and the makeup on top of it lasts for a very long time, so I definitely have been using this as a primer, which I love. I also got this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in the shade Nude Glow, and I was very excited about this because I love Glam Glow products, but they are a little bit out of my price range, so I was very excited to receive one of their new products to try out. This product is the absolute perfect shade for me. It is literally exactly like my skin tone, so it just gives me a subtle all over sheen. Like it's very illuminating. There's like little reflex in it, so your skin kind of just catches the light, and you can use it under your makeup. I used this as a moisturizer today, and then I used the Josie Marin Argon Shimmering Skin Perfector Balm thing as my primer, and I feel like I just have a very like subtle all over glow, which I absolutely love. It is very moisturizing as well, so. Maybe I'll pick up a big version of this one. Don't quote me on that. It's really, it's not super expensive, but college girl problems. But I really do like this. And then last but not least is this little mini Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Big Bang. And this is one of their metallicized lipsticks. As you can tell, I am wearing it today. I have literally the most intense glowy glittery lips today. And I have been loving this. Lipstick. I haven't tried any of the other Urban Decay Vice lipsticks, but I really have been wanting to. It's just a very 
they're a little expensive for lipsticks, but this one is absolutely amazing. I would 100% consider picking up a full size. It isn't super gritty, even though there are like obvious glitter chunks in it. It is still fairly smooth, but there is a little bit, like you can feel it, but it's not like a super gritty lipstick. It's super moisturizing. It lasts for a very long time. I literally do not have to reapply it during my shift at work at all, and um, everybody loves it, and I love it. So definitely highly recommend this. I absolutely love it, and I'm just a pink glittery person. I don't know what else to say, because I just love pink, so obviously I was gonna like this. In the little pamphlet, it does say that you can use it on top of other lipsticks as well, which I have not tried. I've just worn it on its own because I have very pinkish lips, so it already just kind of looks opaque on me. But for somebody with darker lips or very pale lips, you might want to layer this up. It is not like a solid color. It is sort of just a pigment with glitter, which is perfect for me and I absolutely love it. So, so that is everything that I received in my Sephora play box for the month of March. I actually really, really, really enjoyed this month's box. I've been very into getting a very naturally glowy skin without having to go tan because I have no time to tan and I really want to protect my skin and not get skin cancer at 22. So don't tan. Buy some of these products instead and get a very natural and healthy glow. As I said earlier, I really do think that this box is worth the price. It is only $10 and that Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector was basically the entire price of the box in and of itself and then you receive four other amazing products and a perfume so you cannot go wrong with the Sephora play box you get amazing quality products and a perfume which I'm not personally a fan of but if you like perfumes you get a new one every month and you can smell like a perfume store I don't know I'm just not a perfume person I'm sorry <laughs> don't hate me I'm gonna stop rambling now because I have to go to work and show off my gorgeous glow to everybody. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite product is from this box and tell me what your favorite product is that gives you a gorgeous natural glow because I'm definitely on the hunt for more products. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here. And I really hope you have a wonderful and amazing day.